Now in this video, in the browse and scrape area here, there's also another way to get Pinterest links by using this content as opposed to just browsing. Now I wasn't sure if I was gonna include this in the software, but I thought just in case someone out there wants to use it, it's here for you to use. But if you click that, all you have to do is just put any content in here, anything, as long as it contains Pinterest links, then it will extract the links from it and so you can analyze them. So let me explain kind of where, where you can find that stuff. I know you can kind of do all this a lot easier using the browser, but it's just another option I have um, put in here for you. So let's say for example, you're like on Pinterest. So let's say you're searching here and and I wanted to get all this data for these pins right here. Well, one thing you can do is you can right click and you go inspect, okay? If you can see here, if I just bring this down a bit and you get this little window in the bottom. This is the developer kind of window thing inside of the browser. Uh, don't worry, don't let this all shock you and get all crazy about this code. Just ignore that stuff. But you'll notice as you move your mouse around, it starts to highlight stuff up here, kind of where where the code is. If you just keep moving up and up and up, just keep scrolling up until the whole page, like right there, you see the whole page kind of went and um, highlighted. So at this div here. So left click this and then right click then go to copy, copy outer HTML. And now I got the HTML code for all those pins. Come back here and I can go right click and paste. And I'll click extract links. And it found nine pins. Click analyze and boom, just like that, we can get it. So let me show you another example, how this can work. Let's say you're on Google and you're searching Pinterest. So if you go site colon pinterest.com forward slash pin forward slash space and you go Mother's Day. And it found a whole bunch of pins in here. I actually have my account set to show 200 items at a time. I think you have to do that in your settings somewhere. I can't remember your settings here. Search settings. Results per page, well 100 I guess. Anyhow, so now what I can do is like again you can right click here and just go view source, page source, and you got all this crazy data here. Just that you want to select it also on your keyboard and go control A to select everything and then you can right click in copy and just go back to the content here and I want to clear out what was there before. Clear. You can use a little paste button. Let's we'll paste what was in the clipboard we just copied. Now extract links. We found 93. And now we can go ahead and do that. So you can see that's kind of how you can um, basically scrape content. So as long as there's pins in anything, stop that there, in anything in here, this little tool will find it. But as I mentioned in a different video, um, this is kind of obsolete if you're gonna use the browse and scrape technology, which is a little bit easier because in the browse and scrape, all you have to do is just you know, go straight to Google. And then as long as you have the scraping live, it will scrape out these links as you browse. So I just found another 50, go to the next one, 150, next one. 200 so but let's say you have content in a file or maybe you have a membership site that you can't log in for some reason through the integrated browser and you can just get the source code throw it in here I don't know something weird maybe from another software program that has code or something like that I'm not sure but anyhow that option is there for you to use and it's pretty easy to use just got to put the content in there click extract links and it will it, it will scrape out any pin links it finds in that content